Hello, Gina. Ugh. What are you creeps doing? Made me look away from my phone. Better pray I didn't miss a text. In the two seconds you looked away? 17 texts, all of them important. Amy suggested we negotiate terms, so if you agree to give my dad his blessing, here's what I'll do for you. You will never see me in my pajamas on a family trip. We will never share a bunk bed. And I won't force you to participate in our annual themed Christmas cards. This year, my dad was Mary and I was the baby Jesus. Yeah, I know. Got one. Lived the nightmare. Ah, well, the list goes on. I signed it. Amy notarized it. I'm a notary. No big deal. I met the comptroller. Okay, you know what? This isn't about our lives getting intertwined, okay? I'm actually worried about my mom because she's been hurt before. This is all moving way too fast. Wow. Gina. That's really sweet. And the only reason I didn't tell you guys is because I don't value you as people. So it's like, why be honest? Yeah, you just right. went back and ruined what you said. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look, I know I'm a stage five player, just mowing down chicks left and right. But my dad's not like that. He would never hurt your mom. Just talk to him. You'll see. Fine. I'll talk to him just to ask him some questions. But go get him before I change my mind. Okay. okay. Oh, I already changed my mind. Wow. All right, I'm back. Oh. oh, I'm back. How's working your dead off going? Horrible. Rosa's making me clean her motorcycle. Payback's a bitch. God, so many great payback lines wasted on this. Damn, this bike's muddy. And this isn't even the worst thing I had to do. Gina made me call people and tell them she was dead to see how they'd react. Is she crying? Is she crying? A little. You should be wailing, you stone cold bitch. Now call my other grandma. Oopsie. Oh, my God. oh, I'm sorry. I lost my balance. You think I'm bothered by a little spilled milkshake? I'm a food blogger. I'm stained all over. Okay, what is going on with you two? Well, you know how our parents have been tender sexing each other? Oh, precisely, Amy. Ew. Boyle and I made a pact to break them up, and now this sticky little gummy bear is backing out. Look, I know you don't want our lives intertwined, but things have changed. My father wants to marry your mom. So you choose your dad over me, your coworker who hates you. <sighs> Papa's a gentleman. He won't propose until he gets Gina's blessing, and she won't give it to him. Who says Papa? Are you a little French boy? <laughs> I think maybe I can help. I took a seminar on conflict resolution, and... I have been waiting weeks to bust this bad boy out. Mm, new binder smell. Mm -mm. Amy, don't do this. I'm gonna throw a milkshake in your face. I hate to say it, but we still need to make one more stop. There's still some files at my old place, AKA Gina's apartment. Ugh, fine, I'll call her. <sighs> wow, there's so many fancy buttons on your steering wheel. It's like a spy car, that's cool. Here, let me call her. Yeah. Car, call Gina Linetti. What is that voice? It's my spy voice. Car, initiate ghost mode. That's a seat warmer. Oh, that's even better than rockets. My butt gets very cold. It's Gina's phone. Leave me a voicemail. I won't check it because it's not 1993. Kev, what's going on? Raymond has been lying to me. Three mornings this week, he told me he was fencing with Dan. Why would he do that? Why would he lie to me? I don't know. Maybe it's connected to his bad mood. My husband does not lie to me. This investigation of yours was a bad idea. I'm going home. I have to sort this out with Raymond. Goodbye, Peralta. Linetti. Linetti? No! We were on a first name basis! <sighs> Gina, this is bad. Kevin's upset, Holt's gonna be angry, we're both gonna get fired, and I'm gonna die alone. Jake, why don't you just do the right thing and jump out a window? Captain Holt will never fire me if he knows I'm mourning the death of a close friend. Or we could try plan B and just fix it. You never even tried plan A, though. Hey, guys. Department has a new green initiative. We have to reduce energy usage by 15%. That means no more laminating, Santiago. Oh, that's fine. It's not the thing that gives me the most pleasure in life. Interacting with other people, that's what gets me going. Scully, Hitchcock, lose the chocolate fountain. What are we supposed to dip our strawberries in? Our nacho cheese fountain? That's crazy. Unless. Sard, you beautiful bastard. Get rid of them. And Gina, 
You can't run that space heater 24-7 anymore. Space heater, excuse me. This is a Fornax radiant comfort system, and her name is Jacinta. Okay, well, Jacinta's gotta go. He didn't mean that, darling. Seriously, turn off the space heater. No. Do it now, that's an order. Yeah, well, you don't wanna start a battle of the wills with Gina Linetti, because you will emerge from that battle a broken man. Not to brag, but I was name-checked in my kindergarten teacher's suicide note. Oh my God. Hey, Gina, can you order food for us at the Flatbush Diner? They make the best pies in New York City. Oopsie, you said something super dumb. The best pie in the city is at Crest. Wrong. Ignorant and wrong. Uh, you think you can just bully people, but you can't. It's not okay. I'm the bully around here. Ask anyone. Time. You ready? You excited? Yes. I can't believe it's finally gonna happen. Oh, you guys are gonna have sex for the first time. I'll have you know that Amy and I do sex 24 sevs, 369. Oh no, I grossly overcompensated and now it seems like we have problems. You done? Mm -hmm. What you looking at? Did the Kanye West cannibalism story finally break? What? Is that a thing? Yeah. He eats tiny little bites of people when he hugs them goodbye. I tipped off page six. I don't know why they're sitting on it. Just looking on a dating app. Weird, lame, gross, dumb, freak, loser. Perv, toothy, mouthy. Well, what happened to Becky? Who? The girl you were seeing whose name you wouldn't tell us. So we just started calling her Becky. Yeah, Becky and I broke up. She eats soup too much. What, like every day? It happened twice. Okay, well listen, you're in luck because I have the perfect girl for you and I'm actually texting with her right now. No, you are terrible at setting me up. Remember that dork, Justin? He was a tattoo artist and he rode a motorcycle. A Yamaha. He might as well pick me up in a station wagon. You know what, men are difficult because they're all secretly monsters, but now that I know you're bi, that changes everything. I know so many great women. I'm sorry, I just don't think this is something you're good at. What? The only thing I'm not good at is modesty because I'm great at it. Every ending is a new beginning. <laughs> Another great Gina Linetti entrance. You better savor these while you still can, Sarge. Gina, I am not in the mood. How are you so unaffected by all this? Because I have already moved on. I'm devoting my energy to my new project, Gina's On. It's a one-stop online portal for my legions of followers. Speaking of home, What's up, G-Hive? It's Queen G. I'm bored at work, so I'm gonna prank all my coworkers. <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea for an already crappy day. Fine, Sarge, I won't do it. I will do it. <laughs> so you can count this as my first prank, I guess, unofficially. Hey, can I talk to the captain? Ugh, he's on the phone. Do you want a coffee while you wait? They made me an extra one on accident. Oh, sure, thank you. <laughs> Oh my god! What is that? Cement! You just drank cement! <laughs> Guys, check back in to see if she dies. Oh. <coughs> You're not really gonna die, probably, okay? Just a little honey for the G-Hive. Also, you can talk to Holt. He is not on the phone. What is happening? That's a little something I call. Two pranks for the price of one! <laughs> Santiago, I'm on the phone. Triple prank! Separation. Oh, girl, you look so sad. You know what would cheer you up? <laughs> nice bowl of miso soup. No thanks, Gina. I'm not in the mood. So, Gina, is that soup up for grabs? Scully, no. My followers are sick of watching you eat cement. Captain, is the entire squad at this dumb field trip? Yes, they are. Is there a problem? Uh, yeah. You know how I've been defying all expectations by going back to school? I always knew you had it in you. <sighs> Can't you just be blown away by me? I need someone to take this personality test for my psych class. I was hoping to wow my professor with a genuine psycho like Amy or Hitchcock or Charles would be great. Hey guys, sorry we couldn't, you know, save the precinct. Nothing to be sorry about. Your moral compass is on fire right now. Okay, forget I said anything, this is better. At least we had an awesome bust. Yeah, we went back to back. Oh, man, we must look so cool. Finally did the man sprinkler. What? I never called it that. <laughs> Attention squad, I just got off the phone with one police plaza. The hearing is over and here's where we stand vis-a-vis -vis the precinct being shut down. The precinct will not be shut down. <laughs> yeah. They decided to shut down the 7-4 instead. Wait, I don't understand. Apparently the community came to our aid. There was a swell of online support orchestrated by an organization called Ginazone. I think you mean Ginazone. <laughs> I was behind the bar the whole time. Another great Gina Linetti entrance. I told you, you can't be back here. And I told you, I already am. What did you do? I was live streaming a prank when Captain Holt made his big speech about how you did the right thing for the city. I guess people were moved. They were like, what can we do to help? And I said, call the commissioner's office. The G-Hive is real. I can't believe you did it. Gina, 
You're a legend. To the nine nine. Nine nine. nine. Yeah, get a drink. Simeon.